My name is Jorge Cordova. I'm a Latin American pitching coordinator for Detroit Tigers. I'm from an island in the Caribbean, in Venezuela. I was born and raised in Margarita. My family, my mom and my dad, were from the city Cumana. And then they, when they graduated from school, my mom was a school teacher and my dad was a high school PE coach. So because in the island wasn't that many teachers, they sent it over there and uh, they started the family there. They had my sister, which is four years older than me, and myself. And since then, we live in Margarita Island. Actually, I tried so many sports. So I practiced basketball, surf, karate, everything, even including uh, swimming. I was playing in my backyard with one of my friends. I was throwing rocks to the mango tree. And he told me, wow, did you get a great arm? How about you never t thought to play uh, baseball? And I was eight. And uh, you know what, they have a, a small team in my, in my town. I started playing baseball and I developed a really, really big passion just to play baseball then. Well, everything started when I signed to be a professional baseball player in 1996. I first went to uh, Dominican Republic to play it over there in the summer league. And then eventually I get promoted to come to the state. I played with Cincinnati Reds, with Miami Marlins, and then with Detroit Tigers. And um, they offered me a job to be a pitching coach in Latin America when I was 27 years old. So I was working in the academy there for two years, and they finally promoted me to come to the state. So I came to Lakeland, work for about seven, eight months, and then went back home for the off season. So many things happened then, I wanna say it in November, October, November 2009, that we have to make a decision to leave the country. Uh, I got robbed uh, with my son, which is, he was 10 months old on my, on my hands. Uh, I got a gun in my neck and my chest when my son was holding the gun and that happened to, to my car as well. So many, so many bad things happened and the, the country, you know, started going downhill. So with me and my wife, we have to make a decision. We packed two suitcases, nothing else. We came to the United States, we stayed in a hotel room. Me and my two kids and my wife with two cases for about three weeks. I asked myself so many times if I go back home. I felt homesick, I felt scared. I was 30 years old. My wife and my two kids depend on me. Sometimes I just wanna cry. Sometimes I just wanna run away. But I couldn't do it because I gotta, I gotta just look strong for them because I was like the big pole of the family that I have to stay always straight. Um, but I, I was afraid, I, I won't lie to you. I, I was afraid because I said, I thought to myself, you know, what if something happened to me? What's, what my wife gonna do? My wife didn't, didn't speak English at all then. My kids didn't speak English at all then. Well, my son, the, the youngest one, he barely spoke, spoke Spanish because he was 11 months old. Um, but I was terrified. I was terrified. How about something happen? How about if I have to do something? How about if my, my wife got sick? How are I gonna do to work and to take care of the kids? That was very scary years, so many years. But I felt so grateful that I found so many good friends here in Polk County. That's why I wanna get back to the community as much as I can because Polk, especially Lakeland, is giving me a lot of good things, a lot of positive situations in my life. I have met a lot of great people here. Back then, there were not too many Latins in Lakeland, in Polk County, and we have to travel almost every week to Orlando, Kissimmee. Over there was the only place that we can find Spanish groceries, or my daughter's milk, or my son's uh, cheese. And, uh, but we, ha we want to find a way to keep our Latin culture, even including the food, at home, to prepare the same food that we used to eat when we were a kid, because we want to offer that to our kids as well. We want them to feel that they are Spanish. We want them to know and to always remember where they're coming from. 
And I, I really, I'm really proud of me and my wife that we did a great job with it because they are full Latin. They are bilingual, they speak Spanish with no, Spanish with no accent at all. They sound like Venezuelans. They love, uh, have breakfast with the rapper. But even when uh, it's a tough time for my, my wife that she have to wake up really early in the morning, like every school day, she have to wake up about 4.15 in the morning just to cook and just to make breakfast for them before they go to school because they'd rather eat at home before they, they go to school. And that's a Latin thing. That's, that's Venezuelan culture that we have to eat at home before we go to school. Until these days, my daughter is 16 and my son is 12. They still eat at home before they go to school. Sometimes they come back from the school and they're dying so hungry because they went to get home to eat, you know, mom's food. Why is it so important? It's because you have to feel proud who you are, where you come from, who's your race, where's your hometown, what do you know about yourself, what do you know about your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, what kind of food they eat. Yes, I love United States. Yes, I love Polk County. Yes, I love the opportunity that this beautiful country has given to me. But we cannot forget who we are. And we are Latinos, we are Hispanics, and for us, it was important for our kids to, to make our kids understand, you know, Spanish. How are you going to communicate with grandparents if you don't speak Spanish? How are you going to communicate with cousins in Venezuela if you don't speak Spanish? How do you know if you like Venezuelan food if you don't keep, you know, eating at home? It's imperative in life to know where you come from. That way you can be you know, proud of your skin color, of your accent, of your family, of your food. Because I don't say we're different, but we're very unique. We're very happy life here in the United States. Great opportunities for my daughter, for my son, good schools, especially here in Polk County. We got a great education. My daughter is going to IB program in Bartow High School. My son is going to South McKeel Academy now. Now he's going to uh, Big McKeel, which is a middle school, and this is nothing I can regret. That. So I, I really believe everything happened for a reason. Mm -hmm.